Derry Donald Wood was once part of the Crofton Estate, but is now part of the 750-acre Quelcham Moat Park Forest. With biodiversity evidence indicating that ancient woodland once existed here, Derry Donald Wood is also connected to St Coban, the patron saint of Roscommon. Moat Park is a very good stronghold for red squirrels, which are at, at present, we know, uh, moving to the surrounding areas. Uh, we also have good population of pine merton here, which people don't see on a, on a regular basis, but they do exist here well. You would have deer, hedgehog, a lot of species of bat uh, within or around the, the surrounding areas of the woodland. There's also a patch of native woodland uh, known locally as Dory Donald Wood inside Moat Park, and this would have a bird's nest orchid plant found in which would indicate that woodland has always existed uh, in the area. Uh, Derry Donald Woods and the townland Derry Donald, which is located at the Roscommon site of Derry Donald Bridge, uh, quite significant really what has been discovered recently. Uh, if you look, for example, at the Down Survey website, it actually allows one to uh, look at townlands to find out uh, what the previous name of that townland actually was. And what we discovered was that Derry Donald was known as Dora Corman, which is the Wood of Corman, and of course that associates with uh, Roscommon town itself. Derry Corman actually belonged to the monastery of St. Corman in Muscommon Town. Although Moat Park is primarily a coniferous woodland, we still have pockets of native woodland and broadleaf woodland that exist here and they're very important. We've got our own native trees like the ash and the oak and the holly and the hazel, yew, uh, all the different species and support all mammals, birds, insects that feed upon their fruits. Um, we have some here, um, we have hazelnuts and beech mast as well, which are very important for supporting all the different wildlife. Uh, sometimes we're taught in primary school that the red squirrel collects acorns, but it actually doesn't. Um, it, can't, it can't digest the acorn. Uh, there's a bird called the jay, which is a member of the crow family, and it flies around, makes a lot of noise because it's a very raucous bird. Um, picks up the acorns, plants them in little pits around the forest. Sometimes I forget some of those pits and then those acorns end up growing into mature oak. 